Today we presented the primary results from the report HF registry. We designed this registry um, based on the limitations of prior registries. So previous registries had been either country or region specific. We specifically designed ours to be more global, looking at seven regions of the world. And this had not been done before, and we found this to be a unique opportunity. So report HF was conducted in over 300 um, sites at over 40 countries. Over about a 32 month period, we ended up enrolling about 18,800 patients. And what was presented today was the data from the index hospitalization. Though we followed patients for up to three years in the registry, and those results will be coming in the next several months in other manuscripts and analyses, what we presented today was only the time period when they were first enrolled during their index stay. So we actually found, um, somewhat to our surprise, is that patients compared to registries from five years ago look much more similar than we had expected. So um, similar ages, similar blood pressure, similar heart rates, heart rates when they present to the hospital. Um, but some unique differences we found were things that caused them to come to the hospital were different. So in North America, non-adherence to diet medications was high compared to Southeast Asia where ischemia was a common precipitant, much more common precipitant. Uh, we also found that while most patients in the registry received IV diuretics, there was some variability in IV vasoactives, such as nitroglycerin and inotropic therapy. So this, these were important differences that we were a little bit surprised to see. The, the other important difference was the time to initial therapy was quite a bit longer in North America. This may have been due to a couple things. One is that patients were probably less severely ill by the looks of it. They had less congestion on their chest x-ray and less severe dyspnea at rest. But the second thing is it's probably reflective of the crowding that goes on in North America in the emergency departments and hospitals where it just takes a longer period of time to get to see a, a, a physician by a patient. So these findings are important probably because they're gonna impact not only how we think about clinical care across the world, guidelines-based therapy are important and there's some suggestions that Maybe they weren't as implemented in some regions of the world as strongly as others. But I think probably the biggest difference that we found is that these differences in precipitants of acute heart failure, concomitant medications, and acute therapies will really impact how we design clinical trials from a global perspective in the next 10 years. A lot of these differences will exclude patients from a trial in one region of the world, where in another region of the world they'll be easily included. Thank you.